Welcome then to our Bondi Flash, your final update from the race course here in Les Sables. Well, it's been largely been a day of rest and recovery out on the race course for the 32 skippers who are on the water. Um, after a fairly active first night, the breezes have been lighter as they work down a high pressure zone. And so there's been a chance to get through the jobs list to get a little bit more sleep and prepare for this uh, weather system which you're expecting during Tuesday night into Wednesday. Meantime, in Les Sables de Lone, it's been a frustrating day for, uh, for uh, Fabrice Amadeo, the skipper of uh, uh, New Rest Arte Fenetra, has been in since this morning, since 7.30. He's uh, been trying to repair uh, damage to the top of his mast. He had a problem with the uh, Jenniker hook, which uh, meant he couldn't uh, drop the Jenniker, so he came back in. He came in at 7.30 this morning, and he is planning to be back out on the water. But it's been a very, very frustrating day for him. The fleet are already 270 miles away out from Les Sables de Lone, so Amadeo's going to have to channel his inner Michel Desjoyeux to get back at the fleet. He's a good boat in the former uh, No Way Back, and he maybe is going to have to prove that name wrong too. So that's uh, Fabrice Amadeo. The weather systems just now, well, we were talking about that uh, low pressure front coming through over the course of uh, Monday night into Tuesday. Uh, and that's going to bring 40 knots, uh, sustained seas of uh, five to six meters. And so the uh, option is to go furthest out to the west to get through its earliest uh, and get into the uh, downwind conditions at the outside of that. Or for the uh, westerly, the more easterly boats coming down towards Cape Finisterre, they're going to come into lighter breezes and will have a more sustained uh, w uh, winds in that, uh, in that front when it comes to them. So that's the weather situation. As I said, the uh, new front is coming in. Let's have a look at the, uh, cl the classements, the rankings this evening at uh, six o'clock. Well, there's no change uh, at the top with uh, Damien Seguin still leading the Paralympic uh, gold medalist, Maxime Sorel in second, uh, and Jean Le Cam in third. Uh, and uh, the key things there are um, Nico Trussell still uh, on top of uh, Jeremy Biu, Sam Davis uh, still leading ahead of uh, Kevin Escoffier and a great match going on there. Rest, as I say, was pretty much the order of the day as much as possible. We caught up with uh, Alex Thompson, who was pretty punchy first thing this morning. He'd had a pretty tough first night, one or two problems, and he was looking to get his head down over the course of the day. Yes, and uh, I don't think it's over yet. There's a, there's attack imminent. Morning, everybody. Uh, uh, that was a tricky uh, night, but the, the sun has come up. Let me have a quick look around first. Um, I managed to... Uh, to get uh, some fishing tackle around the rudder and the foil. That wasn't too good. And then uh, I lost six or seven miles when, uh, when one of the sheets came off one of the sails during a, a sail change, which was uh, also not so good. But <coughs> I didn't really get much sleep, um, maybe a little rest. And, uh, but I should be able to tack and start heading south very shortly. And, uh, and hopefully, I'll be able to get some rest then. Uh, Pretty good start, really. No majors. Had a little um, minor panic with the generator. I thought uh, there was some water inside it, but uh, once I took a little part of it apart, then uh, I realized all was good. So I'm feeling good. Looking forward to getting some sleep. Keep on watching. So that's Alex Thompson uh, on good form. No majors, he said. We caught up also with the uh, English skipper, Miranda Merrin. Miranda's just pleased to be out uh, after a long lockdown. I think she was feeling a little bit stir crazy before she went on the water on the start yesterday. This was Miranda today. Yes, and uh, I don't think it's over yet. There's a, there's a tack, imminent tack as well, because the wind is uh, heading. So, uh, yeah, a um, couple of sail changes. Um, you know, just remembering how the boat works because we've been sort of stuck in semi-lockdown for three and a half weeks and, you know, it's a long time to be not sailing before a big race. But anyway, I think I've got the hang of it again. And nice to be at sea. No yeah. masks out here. Yeah, well, uh, since I hadn't, since uh, there hadn't been normal build-up to a big race, um, I actually, in my mind, I didn't kind of really think that I was off for, you know, a three-month tour of the planet. Um, perhaps I still haven't realised that. So it was, it was fine, you know, when uh, when the team got off, when I got off, I just unfurled the sails and headed for the start line. Start was all right. Just been pretty busy since then. Uh, need to get some south and some west in. <laughs> Can't do both. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and get ready for the uh, for the next one, which is not today. 
I can't remember whether it's tomorrow night or anyway. No, I think there's more wind uh, again tonight, but uh, today's quite light and nice, so it'll be a good day to just you know, settle in. So that's it, Miranda Merrin in 23rd place this evening, enjoying being at sea. Join us again tomorrow for Vondi Live at 13.30 French time, 12.30 in uh, TU. Join us then.